wildfire danger in the state of Texas. So we're talking about 99% of the state experiencing some level of droughts, and there are more than a dozen active wildfires at this time. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing is live in our newsroom with the latest and the places of concern in our coverage area. Hey there, Jeff. Good morning to you, Bree. Take a look at the map behind me right now. We all know that it's hot and dry, but according to that map right there, there are outdoor burn bans in almost every county in the state of Texas. Meanwhile, there are fires, active fires in the state. We've got another map that shows 15 active fires. The 15 active fires are in red. There are, meanwhile, many other fires that have already been put out. Those are the gray ones there. Some of these fires that are active are pretty well contained, but some are not anywhere near contained. We're talking about the Chalk Mountain Fire. Right now, it is only 10% contained and has burned 6,000 acres. This fire in particular is 50 miles southwest of Fort Worth. It's the largest wildfire going on in the state right now. Meanwhile, there were another 21 wildfires that were already extinguished. Now, according to Texas A&M's Forest Service, 214 Texas counties currently have burn bans in effect, including in our area, Harris County, Fort Bend, Galveston, Liberty, Montgomery, Walker, Wharton, San Jacinto counties, pretty much everywhere you look around here. Texas A&M says there is a significant risk of wildfires in East Texas, including in the towns of Palestine, Crockett, Huntsville, Tyler, and Marshall. We've had some uh, pretty significant wildfires over there for, for that area. They've uh, 200 acres is a pretty, pretty good sized wildfire in the pine plantation over there. And so we've been seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of uptick and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of activity for that side of the state. And firefighters all across the state say they are doing what they can to stop these wildfires, including using ground crews and aircraft. Forest Service officials say they have resources staged all across the state so that they can rapidly respond to any wildfires. And they add, if you see a wildfire, it really is important to report it immediately because they say a quick response can definitely save lives and property. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.